Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Leo. So at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so this is a very positive energy this is a happily ever after energy this is emotional fulfillment this is finding someone to settle down with someone who could be the end um you know the end person that person that you choose um i'm seeing here a lot of uh dreams fulfilled which come true so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this leo Okay, so the first card we have is the Knight of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, we have the Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And finally, we have the Four of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so definitely there is a situation here where whereby you may be taking time for yourself. With this Four of Swords energy, I do see that as somebody who has withdrawn from love, um, somebody who is choosing to retreat and connect with their own um, well-being and heart space, and even an energy of recovering from something. This is definitely someone who's trying to heal their heart, uh, focusing on self right now. And, um, you know, I'm seeing spending time alone. Um, with the Five of Pentacles, there may have been a situation where you had hoped for some sort of Ten of Cups outcome, um, but um, it may, there's this sense of feeling rejected or abandoned, left out, forgotten, not chosen or unseen with this Five of Pentacles. And this can really have a, um, you know, a negative effect on one's self-confidence. And um, I do see an energy of isolating, choosing to, to be alone because of this, um, to spend time alone. And, um, you know, it's almost like this, this is definitely an energy that is um, leading towards this time apart or time alone with the four of swords um to recover and heal and i do see that there's somebody who is interested in you though with the knight of cups there there is somebody who's focused on you romantically with romantic intention this person is wearing their heart on their sleeve this person is uh, about to make themselves known to you this person is definitely um wanting to romance you i do see this as a sweet charming um you know emotionally av available expressive person um there is a sense that this person is definitely here but you may not notice this person um this person is coming in while you're in this um isolated time while you're focusing on yourself and healing and um nurturing your your wounds this person is definitely um there for you so i do see this person is um you know someone who's going to make some sort of emotional romantic offer to you okay so Let's clarify these cards, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the full card, and this is Aquarius energy. So this is a, an energy of a new beginning, fresh slates, new person, new opportunities, new adventures. So I, I do see here, somebody is coming towards you. 
something about this person though it is different there is something they could be different from your usual type or um they could be foreign they could be of a different background they, there's something very different about them um but this person is definitely an optimist this person is open-minded they are coming towards you with no baggage this is definitely someone who just wants a clean slate with you they want to have this beginning with you and um i am seeing them hopeful that you would take a leap of faith with them um so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this uh leo okay so the first card we have is the six of pentacles and this is earth energy next we have the five of wands in the reverse and this is fire energy and finally we have the star card aquarius energy so you could be dealing with an aquarius okay so with that six of pentacles again i'm seeing someone here who is wanting to give to you on that romantic level um one thing about this person i also do see that they they are someone with uh you know good morals and integrity um this is a humble person this is a generous person with that six of pentacles this is a giver um i do see this person is looking for some sort of partnership a balanced partnership um they are a fair person by nature and i do see them wanting to give to you they want to um you know romantically um you know offer you some sort of romantic gesture make their heart their intentions they can their heart known to you um i do see somebody here who is um you know going to be quite direct with you very honest um th this is someone who's ready for some new beginning that this is definitely someone who's available and um I, I do see them, you know, that this person could be giving you some sort of romantic gesture or a gift of some sort because there's just this giving energy and we have that Knight of Cups energy as well. Um, with the Five of Wands in the reverse, I do see that as you overcoming some sort of inner conflicts, inner struggle, um, you know, there may be something that you were dealing with here and the aftermath of a situation that was very um, turbulent, chaotic. Um, there may have been a lot of competition in that situation, and you, you're 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 in this process of healing from that. So, and I do see that you're you're succeeding in that healing with the star card there. That is progress in your healing journey as well. And um, you know, there is this promise of a future. There is the sense that you're you, there is new love. There is new opportunities coming to you, and there's this need to 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 not lose hope. With the star card this is definitely an energy reminding you to stay optimistic because some sort of manifestation is just around the corner um i do see that as the, this new person could be coming in just around the corner and um you know there's this this need to not lose hope um with the star card there um because the star card does definitely show that your manifestation is just about to come in um and this could be that manifestation of that ten of cups that you had um there is a sense that you may have previously dealt with someone who you thought would be your Ten of Cups and um, things didn't work out that way. Um, so there is just this um, sense of not needing to not give up hope. Um, your uh, Ten of Cups is coming, is what I'm seeing, Kim. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Leo. So the card says, a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Okay, so with this Aries energy, I'm seeing that as, again, this new person, this uh, person coming towards you with no baggage. This is a direct person. This is somebody who, you know, is very clear about their intentions. I also see this as a fun person, a very passionate person, um, a person who who goes for what they want, a person who, who is open and honest. And um, definitely, I do see... Um, this person is bringing some sort of liveliness to your world as well after a period of some heavy energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. So the card says attraction you attract <clears throat> you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully okay so there is this need to stay present to not escape there is the sense of recovering healing and not bypassing the healing process um you are definitely attracting this person to you um but it's it's almost like you know 
by focusing on yourself, recovering, healing, nurturing yourself, self-care, self-love, you that is also attracting this person more. Um, also, this positive thinking, this optimism, this this faith, this this star energy is definitely calling this person in. Um, you are, I'm seeing you, you're definitely going to be attracting this person. I don't see you going to them. I see them coming to you as well because you are still in this healing energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Leo. Okay, so the card says determination and creative achievement. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Okay, so I do see this going with the star energy. There is the sense of keeping the faith. Um, you know, this is definitely a sense of healing, but also a futuristic energy. I do see something here is coming for you. Um, you are attracting this beautiful um, connection to you, this this person here. This person, with them showing up at the Knight of Cups, I do see them as being a creative person as well. Um, this is definitely somebody who, who has that uh, creativity about them. Very emotional, passionate person, um, but also very, um, you know, emotionally intelligent and aware. Um, this is also something somebody who is, uh, I'm seeing that they're not dull, they, they, they're not boring with this, the full card. This is someone who you may go on a lot of adventures with. They are definitely going to bring some sort of excitement and romance to you. Um, this is definitely somebody who um, loves love. This is a romantic person. And um, I do see them also ha having a determined energy about them. This is a go-getter. This is somebody who, um, you know, I also see a big picture thinker. This is someone who, who, who does plan for the future, who wants to think of, think ahead, see a future future um shoot for the stars type of person and um i do see them um you know very uh, something about the way they'll um they'll approach you is going to be quite creative and very romantic it'll it'll stick um you know the way in which they they stand out to you they're going to stand out in some way okay so that's what i'm seeing for you leo i hope you have a really really good day leo bye leo